how do you change your eye shape to be bigger and brighter or more elongated? Today, I'm going to be demonstrating the two most trending eye makeup styles, the doe eyes and the siren eyes. So you can decide which one is best for you. So without further delay, let's begin. For both the styles of eye looks, I'm going to be using the same eyeshadows from the Artist Color Pro Palette. This is by Makeup Forever. I'm going to start with Siren Eyes on my right side, the kind of eye look that will give you a more elongated eye shape. The first step is to frame the eyes and for that you'll need a lighter shade of transition. I'm dipping into this light brown shade with a large blending brush from Rosenben Beauty. I'm going to start carving out my crease and the outer corner. I'm just going to follow along the natural socket line and for the outer corner it's going to be an extension of my lower lash line. I'm adding more eyeshadow as I blend to make it deeper. I'm just taking very little eyeshadow at a time just to make the blending easy. And if you observe carefully, I'm pushing all the eyeshadow outward and upward and that is going to give you that elongated eye shape, especially in the outer corner. And then with a smaller blending brush by ColourPop, I'm going to smoke out that eyeshadow in my lower lash line as well, joining it to my upper lash line in the outer corner. The next step is to deepen this eyeshadow, and for that I'm going to be using a deeper shade of brown. With the smaller blending brush by ColourPop, I'm going to first again carve out the crease and the outer corner. And after I've placed that eyeshadow there, I'm taking the bigger blending brush by Rosenben Beauty to blend this out. I want the outer corner to be a tad bit deeper, so I'm taking a little bit more of the deeper brown shade with the smaller blending brush, and I'm going to place it right in the outer corner, blending it out. This look starts with a lighter shade, and as it goes closer to the lash line, it becomes deeper and deeper and it's going to be deepest at the waterline. So I'm going to be using a black eye pencil. This is the KVD Tattoo Liner in black, and I'm going to be using it just in the outer and inner corners of my waterline. And then with the same liner, I'm going to pull out a small wing in the upper lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be smudging and smoking it out. I'm taking some black eyeshadow. This is called Let's Do It by ColourPop. With a small angled brush, I'm going to now start intensifying and smoking out that liner. And then to soften this while keeping the wing, I'm going to use a blending brush just over it, very lightly smoking it out. And then with whatever residue is left on that brush without taking any extra color, I'm going to deepen the outer corner and the crease further just to add more definition. Picking up some black eyeshadow once again and using it in my lower lash line using the angled brush. And then using my nail, I'm going to sharpen it. And to make it even more sharper, I'm taking a little bit of translucent powder with my powder puff and cleaning underneath. That outer corner looks perfect. You can see we've gotten that elongated effect. And to add more elongation, I'm taking a little bit of black eyeshadow with a nail art brush. I'm going to use this to extend my inner corner. And you can see how that works and it adds so much length to your eyes. Time to finish up with some mascara, but before that I'm going to be curling my lashes. And when I use the curler, I'm pointing it upward and outward again for the same reason that we want to get that elongated eye effect. And for mascara, I'm going to be trying something new by Makeup Forever. This is the Professional Mascara. Step one is to use the smaller or thinner wand. This is going to separate out the lashes. Again, while applying the mascara, I'm pushing the lashes outward and upward. And for step two, the wand is a lot larger. This is going to add length and volume to the lashes. If you prefer, you can use false lashes as well. But if you do, try to cut it into half and just use the inner half in the outer corner to give you that lift. And that's how we do siren eyes, my friends. I'd like to show you the before one more time. And here is the after transformation. This is Siren Eyes and I absolutely love this. It adds so much length to your eyes and it looks very sultry. Now let's compare this to Doe Eyes, which I'll be doing on my left side. I'm going to be using the same exact eyeshadow, starting with the lighter brown shade. With the Rosenben blending brush, I'm going to apply it all over my lid. That'll help to warm up the lid and set the base. And then I'm going to be also smoking it out in my lower lash line using a smaller blending brush. Now I'm going to be dipping into the deeper shade of brown using the smaller blending brush and carve out the outer corner and the crease to add more definition. 
And if you observe, I'm not pushing any of the eyeshadows outward and upward because that would give you a more elongated effect. Here we are going for a rounder effect. So I'm going to keep everything focused in the natural socket line. To bring in that brightness and that light towards the inner corner, I'm going to highlight it using a lighter shade. Using the KVD Tattoo Liquid Liner in black, I'm going to line my top lash line, but I'm going to keep it within the lash line. I'm not going to extend a long wing in the outer corner like I did with the Siren Eyes. I'm going to have the smallest wing in the outer corner. So that'll help to make the eyes appear more wider than longer. Using some black eyeshadow with a small liner brush, I'm going to stamp it very close to my lashes in my lower lash line. Later, using a blending brush to smoke and soften it. And to brighten things up further, I'm going to be using a white eye pencil. This is by ColourPop. I'm going to be using it in my lower waterline. That almost gives the feeling of the white in your eyeball being more extended. It just makes your eyes appear bigger and brighter. Time to finish up. So I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying mascara. But this time around, I'm not going to be pointing anything outward and upward. I'm just going to keep it straight up. And once again, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Professional Mascara. Step one and step two. And to be honest with you, I actually love the step one. Sometimes I just use that and not step two, especially on my lower lashes. It's so convenient to use it. I felt like I could brighten up my lower waterline a little bit more. So I'm going to be using the white gel liner once again on top of it. And that's how my friends, you do the doe eyes. Let's look at the before one more time. And here is the after. And as you can see, it looks so much more brighter and bigger. And here are the two styles side by side. On my right side, I have a more elongated siren eye. And on my left side, I have a brighter doe eye. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in comment section below. And make sure to thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It only encourages me to do more and more and more for you guys. And let me know what else you'd like to watch. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post several different styles of videos every week. And leave a comment below and let me know what you'd like to watch next. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.